Today we're going to unbox and reveal an exciting new style by Raquel Welch. Coming up. I purchased the style from Wig Studio One. You can find it there too. All you have to do is go below this video, expand the description box, click on the direct product link which will take you right out to the website where you can see the colors and the pricing. If you have any questions for us, please reach out to support at wigstudio1.com and don't forget to visit us on our other social media, a private Facebook group, Instagram page, and YouTube channel. All of those links are below. I could not wait to get my hands on this brand new style by Raquel Welch. It's called Ahead of the Curve in SS Golden Wheat, which is SS 1488. So this is supposed to be a nice short shag style bob with lots of layers. Beautiful length it looks like and design. So based on the manufacturer's photos, it just had to be mine. <laughs> this came to my doorstep yesterday, so it has not even been out of the box. So let's check it out. Matches. Now remember, on the inside of the tag, uh, Hair You Wear is the manufacturer for all Raquel Welch styles. And inside you will find uh, instructions on how to wash style and tips and tricks. I rarely look at this one, but if you are a newer wig wearer, this is some interesting reading recommendations directly from Hair You Wear. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove this tag and then we're gonna get started with this one. I'm going to show you a look at the cap and the color, but don't forget to watch the video all the way through because uh, we are going to do some styling and see this one in outdoor light. All right, so before I unveil it, let's take a look at this cap. A beautiful temple to temple extended lace front. It extends halfway through that ear tab it's a nice contour and then you have a left monofilament part that goes nearly back to the hind crown. Raquel Welch's lace fronts are always impeccable. I cannot recall any lace fronts by them that I did not like. I love it when they do a full monofilament top or a monofilament part versus just a lace front. A closed ear tab, nice long sturdy stays there. And an extended felted nape with Velcro style adjusters. This is a part of the memory cap series. You're going to find a last uh, silicone covered elastic holding the wefts together. This gives a nice custom like fit and feel. Okay, so I'm going to assess the fit right away for you. Raquel Welch is one of those styles that typically fits me very large, but I'm not gonna make any adjustments so that I can give you this feedback. Oh my gosh, I'm really gonna love this style. Can't wait to start getting in there working with it. All right, the fit on this is, it seems like completely average. I am going to have to make an adjustment to make it feel a little more secure on my head, but it's not overly large. So I would say this one would be appropriate for average sizes, anywhere from 21 and a half to 22 and a half. Now I'm a 21 and a quarter. I'm confident that I can get a good adjustment. Unfortunately, I cannot speak for those larger sizes. So I went ahead and made the adjustment. And while I have it out, let's go ahead and do our normal maneuvers. Remember, we need to wake it up. We need to set the fiber free so that we can flesh out all of the beautiful layering here and really get a sense of this style and what it can do. So I shake it to wake it and I rake it. Shake, rake, awake. <laughs> You wonder why sometimes uh, reviewers look like they, um, and I've been asked this so many times before, Taz, everybody else's looks a little flat. This is all I do. I shake it, uh, rake it, 
apply it and then pick and fluff to add air into the layers and flesh out the style. Now you don't wanna do this, just a reminder, you don't wanna do this if you plan to return the style as this may jeopardize your return. You don't wanna mess up the part, you don't wanna to do too much. Wow, this is beautiful. I need to say this right away because you are going to be so super excited. This is made from the Vibrolite fiber, not the True to Life fiber, the Vibrolite fiber. Vibrolite fiber is not heat friendly. So guys, I know a lot of you out there that don't like the heat friendly fiber, you're going to love this. It's not heat friendly. You can really tell that this is not a heat friendly. Each one of these fibers is like a fine silk. Um, it doesn't hold the body in each of the fibers like it does on a heat friendly style. It's just super fine. So let's discuss this layering. It's a uh, sophisticated yet unbridled. I think that these layers are meant to be free, but just the general cut kind of gives a sophisticated flair. Now I think in general, Raquel Welch does a nice sophisticated style. I like to mess them up and make them more casual. So when I'm bringing my Raquel Welch wigs to life, I wanna make them suitable for me. So that's why I get in there and just flesh, flesh out all of this layering, sort of make a casual appealing look. So we're looking at about an eight and a half inch front piece here. About the same at the crown about six and a half inches here on the front, another six and a half inch layer on the back, and a two and a half inch nape. So it is a shag style cut for sure. I think layers are super flattering. Um, it lends to a nice light texture and density. I'm gonna grab my mirror so that I can see this shape and nape. Okay, wow, it does have some nice shaggy layers in the back. They even have that forward swept movement. That's so classic shag. So these layers kind of overlap that nape. I would not be afraid of the two and a half inch nape simply because you are getting some really nice coverage in the back, despite the fact that it's just a two and a half inch nape. And I kind of like that angular look. So there's a lot going on here. It's a shag, but it's angled. It's just the right length, uh, just above the collar on most of us, I would say. It only weighs 3.25 ounces. And again, featuring, I previously showed you the lace front left monofilament part. But now that I have it on, let's get up close on this lace because it's one of my favorite parts of a Raquel Welch style, truly, truly. So let's take a look. Readjust it there. That's my little widow's peak right here. It's a nice fine grid lace. All of the seams are obscured. That's the beauty of the extension. And then the mono part goes back to about there. Now, just because there's a mono part doesn't mean you cannot work the front. So if you really like that right hand part, you could definitely just move the front a little bit to get yourself a right hand part or a center part. I just happen to love mine parted just a little left of center. Sometimes those left parts are over too far for my taste but that's okay, I just pull it right up to the edge. There's a lot of parting space there actually to work with. There's a lot of flyaways. The air is very cold and dry in my area. Let's talk permatease though. So we do have some permatease I noticed um, all around the monofilament right there, uh, just above the temple, maybe a little at the crown, very little to none at the nape and back. And that's it. It's a very modest amount of permatease. So let's go ahead and get an outside look at this color and we will also do some styling, which is my favorite part.
All right, so we are straight from the box. I'm gonna try it on and give you some feedback. The glasses fit beautifully between the ear and the ear tab on this style. Um, no problems, it will be a glasses friendly style for you. There's not too much permatease right there at the ear tab. So I think I'll just go ahead and manipulate this hair just to kind of give you an idea of how it moves and reacts. That's always fun. And then just do a couple of different ways that I think I might enjoy wearing it on a daily basis. I really feel like this is an amazing little everyday wig style. Thanks for joining me today at Taz's Wig Closet. We'll see you again real soon.